Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Creator 3-in-1 review. I can't tell you how long I have been waiting to do this video, because this set has been on my mind since I first saw it, just because it, it looks so amazing and just the functions that they were able to include for this fox, making it sit down, stand up, and just... I really cannot wait to get to that build. So today we're going to be looking at set number 31154, Forest Animals Red Fox. This set includes 667 pieces for the price of $49.99 when it released on March 1st of 2024. I've said this so many times within recent creator reviews, LEGO has really been killing it with the animal builds and this set is just three really, really strong builds. Usually the alternate builds aren't as great as the main build, but in this case I think that all three are going to be very strong. I'm really excited to see how they turn out all together and definitely as possibly more friends, though definitely not to scale with the Majestic Tiger there. Flipping over to the back side of the box to get a closer look at your two alternate builds for both the Owl and the Squirrel. Now one thing I'm not a fan of, which is something that we see on a lot of LEGO sets these days, push tabs. Still no paper bags in here, but we get a total of five numbered bags in addition to three instruction manuals, one for each of your alternate builds. The front of each instructions has the build that you can use it for, and that same ugly render style that you will see for all other LEGO themes. From the back of the box, you'll find your win guy, piece count, and an advertisement for the sets released back in January. I do have reviews up for three of these, the Spaceman, the Giraffe, as well as the Camera. To start off our alternate builds, we have the Red Owl perched atop a tree branch. This is beautiful. I think that this was definitely the best way to start to even just go to show that all three of these builds are going to be fantastic. What they did here is just extraordinary, and I really think that this is a set that I may end up getting more of to display all the alternate builds. Now with this being an alternate build, you will end up getting a number of extra pieces that you can use once you disassemble this to create the other models. So diving right in, I'm just going to separate this owl from its perch can easily just disconnect it from the very top of this tree branch. Speaking of the design of this perch, we have some white from the bottom to represent snow, and a mix of the regular brown and the orange brown for the tree. You'll also see some of these flower stem pieces to represent the branches, which those are also connected using clip connections, so you can move them back and forth and adjust them as you see fit. We have a piece that's actually showing over here, which I do want to talk about more, which I will talk about more once we actually look at the owl. It's a really interesting piece, newly introduced for 2024. Another thing that's really interesting is that we do get one singular printed piece in this set, and that's for this 2x2 two two circular tile. This is nothing really too special. We saw this print introduced back in 2017. Finishing off with the design, you can see that we have a construction joint, which you can adjust as you see fit. We get a ball joint leading to more clip piece connections, and we have different type of clip piece connections leading to more clip piece connections with more of those stem pieces, those flower stems for the branches. Now the red owl is just absolutely gorgeous. I love how they use these pieces from the front for the fur texture and just all of the tiling and sloping off on the wings. It just looks really really pretty and also just having the white highlights on the end of the wings and from the back of the tail feathers there. The bag doesn't look too bad in my opinion. You can see the little talons from the bottom of the feet. These are connected using different type of clip piece connections so you can adjust these as you see fit as well, though they're meant to be, as you see them here, in order to stand upon the branch. As far as posability goes, we do get a little bit in the wings, where you can move them a little bit back and forth, and up and down. However, the ball joint that holds the wing on is purely just to get the angle, more than for posability. You'll also find a ball joint down by the tail feathers, so you can adjust that if you want. And then finally we have the head, which can spin in a 360 direction. All thanks 
to this piece here, which is the piece that I mentioned before on the tree. This particular piece was newly introduced earlier on in the year for LEGO Ninjago Mechs. It's interesting to see it used in this situation. Last thing I wanted to mention when it comes to the head is the eyes, where we use more of those construction joints in order to place these ball pieces for the eyes, which I think work very well for the owl. And we also have one of those teeth pieces being used for the beak, which is very nice and slim. I just think that the overall design of this thing is really, really well done, especially for an alternate build. On to our second alternate build, we have the Red Squirrel, who comes with a little acorn for his accessory. This is just... He's absolutely adorable. I really can't wait to take some pictures with this one. I have quite a few fun ones in mind, which I'll be posting on Instagram either before or after this video releases. Now, first off, just like the last model, you will get a number of extra pieces when you build this, which means when you disassemble this and add these pieces to the ones that I just showed you, you can build the main model of the set. Now, looking up close and personal with this squirrel, I think they did an amazing job capturing the face of this guy. As far as posability goes for the head, we only get the movement in the neck area with a ball joint. I wish that we could have had a little bit of mouth movement, but still just the way that they captured the design of this, I think they did a really great job. You don't get any movement in the ears. Though they are clip piece connections, they're pretty much stationary just to get the angling. We do get posability in the arms. We get those different type of clip piece connections, which you can move down and up to a certain point. And you get more of those ball joint connections for the little hands, so then you can have him hold on to his little accessory. Being this little acorn, which I think is a really adorable build fits nice and easily in the hands. One thing I wish he could have been able to do is be able to lift the acorn up to his mouth to try and open it up or something. I think that would have been a really cool feature, though of course they'd have to sacrifice some more of the parts on the upper body to do that. On to the beefy designs for the legs, we get some posability there, so you can move those back and forth. And we also get more of those different type of clip piece connections for the very base of the feet so you can adjust those when you're adjusting your model in a sitting standing position. And finally that brings us to the tail design where we also get more ball joint connections, these construction joints, one at the very top. We get another one in the middle. And then you can also see how this is all connected from the very back side. I definitely think this build is very display worthy, especially in a nature setting. I really think more than anything, this is more of a display model than a play model. We're on to the final model of this set or the main model of this set of the Red Fox, which I absolutely adore how he turned out. You also get a little side build of this tree stump, which also has a little baby tree growing off the side in the snow. Now with this being the main model of the set, you will get your regular amount of extra pieces as you would get in any other Lego set. It's only when you build the alternate models that you'll get more pieces left over that you can use when you disassemble them to create this. Now I want to save the best part of this for last, so we're going to start with the side build where we get this tree stump, which is actually made pretty well in my opinion. The building techniques to accomplish this look, a lot of clip piece connections. We also get that printed 2x2 two two circular tile for the middle of the stump, which I think is a really great use of that. From the side, we have this dish piece, which I think is to represent the little mushroom. This is connected using a ball joint, so you can adjust this if you don't like where it's positioned. We get the white for the snow from the bottom. And then we have another ball joint connection leading up to this small baby tree that's growing off this side, which I really love how this turned out, especially with getting a lot of these flower stem pieces, which you can adjust using the clip piece connection. Now, some of you may be aware that one of my favorite Lego sets of all time is that Majestic Tiger. This set definitely gives that one a run for its money. I really feel that Lego has done an amazing job with these brick-built animals over the last few years, and this is just they really knocked it out of the park, even down to having this sitting position for the fox, which looks so stunning that you can even change. You can move the legs, as you see here, and have him standing and just 
the joints and everything all are perfect, absolutely perfect. I really couldn't be happier with just that function alone that allows you to have him standing on his two feet and it's just, he looks so, so adorable at every angle. Oh, I'm gonna be crushing all over this guy in this video. He's so, so adorable. We get those pin pieces for the eyes, which I think work very well. We also saw those used for the squirrel, I believe. The nose, using that one by one tile piece. Get the posability in the mouth so you can have him open up his mouth a little bit, which is so adorable. Open and close using the clip piece connection. A little bit of red in there for the tongue. The ears, I think, are really well done. I love how they have the black tips, which is exactly what I would have wanted to see here. You can see it from the back as well, and just the fur from the side, especially using this teeth piece. I think they did a wonderful job with that. Just the shaping in general is just... It really makes this guy look super, super adorable. Get the clip piece connections for those ears as well, which, you know, don't really work as far as posability goes. It's more so just to get the angling. But LEGO did what they can do there. As far as the neck connection goes, we get a ball joint, which you can see a little bit from the backside. So you can move the head up and down and side to side. You also get another ball joint connection right there with the neck, which is really cool. I love that they give that extra bit of posability, just like how we see for the legs, just all of the different connections in order to get these angles that also help when it comes to posability. It's something that I'm really, really a big fan of when it comes to this set. I really do think that LEGO did a wonderful job with the texture on this guy, even down to the fur on the belly, using these pieces in white, which I really like getting. And lots and lots of slope and tile pieces just to round out the texture of the fur. Looking at the leg connections, you can move those back and forth. I'll remove one. So you can see how that's connected using one of these pieces, which as I mentioned earlier, were introduced in January from the Lego Ninjago theme. You also get some ball joints for the feet, little toe beans, which could have been a little bit better represented, but you get another one of these connections for the tail so you can move it side to side and back and forth. Lots and lots of range of motion and a ball joint at the middle base over here. I love the bit of white from the tip. And again, just lots of slope and tile pieces just to get a lot of the texture on this tail here, which I really do appreciate. And finally, that brings me to my favorite part, and that is just these back legs, where we get the same exact connection that we saw for the front legs here, which you can see. But we also go the extra mile by having these different type of clip piece connections right up here, another one down here, and then finally another one of those ball joints for the very bottom of the feet. Now this allows you to have just the perfect angles as far as when this guy is standing up, which I really love how they were able to capture this in Lego form. It's something that they must have spent so much time just to try and get the right angles, which you don't really see very often within previous Lego animal sets. So I just really have to appreciate them getting the perfect angles for the standing position of the fox. And then just being able to completely break this down and bring him right back into that sitting position there, which is just crazy that you can do that. I just think it's amazing that you can either have him sitting beside the tree or have him standing up. It's just, I feel like this is something that I would love to see someone do a stop motion animation with just because of the sheer amount of posability that you can have with him. Again, I'm just really, really pleased with this and I cannot wait to just take so many pictures and maybe even try and experiment and take some pictures in nature with this guy because he just looks so, so adorable and is for sure going to be one of my favorite sets of 2024 purely just because he looks so beautiful and the posability is really amazing and he just really feels so picture-worthy, just like my good friend the Majestic Tiger. 
So overall for $50, I definitely recommend this, especially if you're a fan of LEGO's brick-built animals. As of lately, this is definitely a wonderful inclusion in that collection. Just the posability for this fox alone. And he just looks so, so adorable. And I also have to say the two alternate models are also really amazing in this set. Makes me want to buy more than one. That owl, definitely one of LEGO's best owl builds, especially for March, looking at the other owl we got in March. And the red squirrel is also a really great build and very photogenic, just like this fox. Which is really, at the end of the day, one of the things that I really love about these brick-built animals, that they're so picture worthy. Really the only thing that I do have to comment on as maybe a complaint is as far as us getting all of these different animal sets is I really wish that they could be more to scale with one another. I know that's a very nitpicky thing, but I definitely would have liked to have seen all of these animals be in the same exact scale. Looking at this next to the Majestic Tiger, next to even the other alternate models that it's included with, and even that giraffe that we got back in January, which is a really stunning model, but they're all very inconsistent as far as size. But one thing that they all have in common that I do really like is that they're all really detailed and feel like sets that not only kids but adults will thoroughly enjoy which I really love when Lego markets to more than one audience. I really feel as far as the creator theme goes they know what they're doing with their audience a lot better than what they're doing with certain other themes as this set isn't only great for display but it also has quite a lot of features to offer for play. So yeah that's all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!